Hey guys, I got a guide for you today for the Imperial Pike Guards, or IPGs. These guys are a TW specialty, so this is a guide you're definitely going to want to watch. Now, IPGs are an anti-push support unit capable of knocking down everything in their path to stop your team from getting pushed or to help step on everything in their path. IPGs are really only used for one thing, and that is their advance. When an IPG unit starts walking, they knock everything down and keep it down for the duration of their walk. Unfortunately, their brace is worse than pike militia, so you will advance and probably lose them, or retreat them to wait for the cooldown. Now, obviously, if you have stun on brace for them, they're decent. Kind of. Their brace still kind of really sucks. I have stun on brace for them, and it. I would prefer the stun that Pike Militia have, honestly. Yeah, if they could just transform into Pike Militia when they brace, I'd be okay with that. And then just transform back to IPGs when I need to walk them. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous that I would want them to just magically turn into a green unit, but... God, their fucking brace is garbage. Uh, I'm just a little heated about it. Sorry, guys, but uh, I spent a good amount of time testing everything and wasted two unit training plans to make sure the information was correct. And it is. And I regret doing the test, kind of. I'm glad I have the right information. I'm just irritated that it is as bad as everybody says. It would be nice if the brace was better. Just saying. You know, maybe on par with Pike Militia at least. But, whatever. Well, moving on. Enough of my rant. The Doctrines should be focused on damage, survivability, and stun on brace. This gives them a little more utility to help your team. As I mentioned before, the stun on brace is fucking shit. But that's enough of that. For their veteran C line, you want to go bottom line with this here. Top line is for damage, bottom line is for survivability, and is recommended since both anti stun perks for brace and advance are useless. The Advance naturally has Stun and Stagger immunity, but the Brace, even with the Anti-Stun perk, can still be Stunned and Staggered. Literally nothing changes. So, that's why I was a little irritated earlier. I uh, did that testing, and... Uh... <laughs> oh... Well, what we're going to do instead is go ahead and move on to some gameplay. Because this is fun! Because... Fuck IPG brace. <laughs> so, in here, I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens when an IPG unit decides fuck everybody else. That, that, that's the way I look at it anyways. When an IPG unit walks something, it's amazing to see. Just watching everything get knocked down. And what I'm doing here, I'm basically treating them like a set of 40s to start, keeping them behind the defensive wall. And a lot of times you'll want to keep them braced. Now we did see here they were trying to rush home, so our team is just running up there to try and cut them off. Yeah, they seen us come back to home, so they all broke off to run over to our supply. And I'm just kind of panicking here, trying to figure out what's going on, what we're going to do, and I made a bit of a mistake, you're about to see. 
Try to pay attention to the color of the units running at you on your mini-map. Because I seen that enemy shortbow. And then I seen Cav. And then I seen this Cav. Now, I do think that there is a Cav unit that's about to charge me. And I have IPGs. So, that Cav unit will get fucked. And I brace, getting ready for it. And then I seen that, so I'm like, walk. That's my team. I just... Yeah. <laughs> I kind of fucked up there. Really badly. <laughs> now, our supply was taken and getting pushed. Their whole team, by the way, through this game because of what they're doing here. And I came in with my IPGs, and anybody that knows anything about the game knows it's generally a bad idea to rush IPGs with CAV. Because normally, we'll just walk you. And your whole CAV unit's dead at that point. Anything that touches the IPGs, once the walk is over, you hit V, and your IPGs delete all of the CAV. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have much many IPGs left, but I was able to walk them here, and we caused some serious damage to them. IPGs, honestly, I recommend new players using them a lot, because they teach you situational awareness. You are forced to learn it, because of how limited their use is. Because if you don't learn how to like, verify situations are a certain way, you're gonna die. And you're gonna lose your unit. Like I did. <laughs> uh, and this is the wrong game. I was thinking of a different game. We had one game on the same map that we were defending, and the whole 15-man stack enemy team tried to hold us in our spawn point, and four people spawned with Pavise and just wiped up everything. They threw the game. That was not that. <laughs> so, as you can see, we're on Heilung Fjord, and we're getting ready to push B. Why not, right? And there wasn't too much to do here. There was a bit of a pushback going on right at the supply, so I got my IPGs over there as quick as I could. Right as I get there, they run away, of course. You know, why not? And... Trap. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Everything up here, and I walk. And you just see everything get knocked on its ass. Except for heroes. And now I'm basically just waiting for the cooldown of the advance. Because once it comes back up, I'll go up there and walk them again. And when you want to run them through tight areas, it's usually best to use the circular formation just to keep them tighter together. Because when you choose to advance them, they're all going to advance in the same direction. So, technically it doesn't matter all too much. And I just kind of shove them through the doorway here. Then, I'll walk them. There we go. Yeah. You want to try not to be that idiot that runs them into a wall. And I got really lucky here that this happened. They all just ran out in front of my guys while they were walking. And they have a set of IPGs there. And now they're walking us. So. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all I got for you today. And have a good one.
Go! 